month of March. Happy month of March, Aquarius. So I am very happy that this is the month of March. Why? Because the month of March always brings the season of spring. <laughs> yes. The end of winter is near and I can feel it in the air. How about you? So yes, on March the 20th, we have the first day of spring. We have the spring equinox. And yes, I am very, very excited about that. But we have some other planetary situations coming up where planets are going to be shifting signs. Um, and that's going to bring some other developments for you. So for the month of March, we have the planets Venus and Mars shifting into the sign of Aquarius. We have uh, Mercury, the planet of communication, shifting into the sign of Pisces and shifting into the sign of Aries. We have the sun shifting into the sign of Aries on the 20th. And then we have a new moon in the sign of Pisces on the 2nd and a full moon in the sign of Virgo on the 18th. And for you this month, wow, Aquarius, gaining stronger finances will grab your attention. This new moon, the new moon on the 2nd, the new moon in the sign of Pisces highlights your financial sector and your prosperity grows. Your prosperity grows, especially, you know, you got the planet, uh, Jupiter already situated in your financial house. So you got this new moon too. So there can be new avenues of resources coming your way. And I want you to grab it all and utilize it all. On the third, there's some interesting things happening with the planets Mars and Venus. They will be hooking up with the planet Pluto, the planet of control and power. And it's going to allow you to start planning for the future. You will be looking in terms, in ter, into your future and figuring out exactly, make a determination of exactly what you want to do. What is it that you need to do? It is no time for, you know, going back and forth, changing your mind, you know, procrastinating, procrastinating mentally. You need to make a decision and stick with it because this is a really good time for you to go ahead and make some serious money. I'm talking about serious money, okay? On the 6th, those same planets, Mars and Venus, will enter into your sun sign. Woo! Wow! Venus is about charisma. Venus is about attraction. It can attract relationships. It can attract money. And Mars is about motivation and assertiveness. So you are really going to be standing out and getting a lot of attention. This is wonderful for you. On the 18th, we have that full moon in Virgo, and that too will increase your ambition. What is, what is it that you want for your, your career? You know, your ambition will be strengthened on the full moon. So this is really a good cycle for money. You're in a great cycle for money. And, you know, on the full moon, you, get, you can strive for, for future money, long-term money. And that is a really a good time to start planning. And on March the 20th, like I mentioned before, the sun will be entering into the sign of Aries. It is going to be the first day of spring. And that is going to inspire you to enjoy the company of friends and loved ones and do a lot more socializing. You're going to be more social. And it's going to put you in a great mood for the rest of the month. Yay, Aquarius. Yay. So I'm going to do a tarot reading for you. I have three decks of cards, and I'm going to choose a card um, from each deck. And the first card for you this month will be uh, Step Out of Your Comfort Zone. To step out of your comfort zone. Is there something that you've been wanting to do and you've been afraid to do it? This is the time to step out of your comfort zone and to take a chance because really you are in a win-win cycle. you got a lot of cosmic help. So you are in a win-win cycle. Do not be afraid to try something new. The second card for you, the second card from the tarot deck for you this month is, oh, the creator. This is, this is a card of manifestation. To create what you want to happen into your life. Create it through your thoughts, your deeds, and your actions. This is a spiritual card because everything starts on the inside and manifests on the outside. Prayers, meditation, and to be firm about what it is that you want. Have details about what you want to materialize in your life this month, and you have a very good chance of allowing it to manifest. And the third card for you this month is, the third card is... The King of Wands business card. It's about taking care of your business. 
Is there something you've been dragging your feet about or something you need to take care of? This is the time to take care of it. Wands means business. It's, it's, initi it's initiation. It's enthusiasm. It's, you know, desire. It's wanting to take a chance on something. You want to take a chance on something or take care of some kind of business? This is the time to do it. Go ahead and start making those prayers, manifesting your desires. You know, you got to have, you know, you have to have discipline. Be disciplined. Know what you want and go after it. Manifest it. Pray on it. You know, mentally think about it. Be detailed. And just know that don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone to get some new inspiration, a new activity, a new idea to come your way because this is going to be a fabulous month for you, Aquarius. You're going to really enjoy this month. So that is your reading for the month of Mars. And if you'd like me to take a look at your personal planets, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com. And let me schedule a personal reading for you. Have a great month and thank you.